Google says its new quantum computer has the fastest processing speed in existence. And this machine needs only 200 seconds to solve a problem that takes the world's fastest computer 10,000 years. Here's how it works. You ready for this? Now, yeah, come on. Regular computers use one and zeros. Well, we all let that at school. One and zero, switching on, switching off. Google uses quantum bits or qubits. It allows any combination of numbers simultaneously. Google CEO says the breakthrough has made the, the impossible possible. For many years, practical quantum computing was only theoretically possible. Google's team has proven it can work. This is the hello world moment for quantum computing that many of us have been waiting for. IBM says not so fast, Google. A regular computer would need only two and a half days to solve the problem. The former Mashable editor at large, Lance Ulanoff, joins me from New York. All right, let, let's both admit to being in deep water here, uh, at least I am, uh, <laughs> on the whole issue of, of quantum computing. But what was this thing that, that Google got the computer to do that would have taken everything else so long? I mean, it's just, it's, it's a kind of, it's a processing task. I mean, really go into tremendous detail on exactly what the processing task is. It's just the kind of task that gets exponentially larger very quickly and that a so-called large room computer or supercomputer that IBM has, they said would take 10,000 years to, to compute and they took 200 seconds. Now, of course, that's where IBM's saying, hold on, our regular giant room computer can now do it in two and a half days. But it's all about, you know, this is not so much what problem did it solve, this is proof of concept because the idea is that when we finally get quantum computing in our hands, you're know, working on these big problems, it's going to change things in a very significant right. way because it can solve problems that you can't do with these regular supercomputers. Right, but IBM, big blue of old, <laughs> supercomputers extraordinaire. I mean, they must be seething at the idea that this upstart called Google could beat them at something like this. They're in a race. Look, you know, uh, IBM is working on quantum computing as well. Um, you know, it's not just the number of qubits, because I think uh, Google has 53 qubits, uh, but it's also, you know, keeping temperatures down. I mean, these systems work at a whole different level. I've actually, I mean, I've seen an IBM quantum computing. It looks like nothing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so, you know, they're working on it just as hard. They just don't like that Google's kind of going out there and stealing the thunder and saying, you know, and also the way they, they said it. You know, they said quantum supremacy, which I think people took to mean that Google had achieved quantum supremacy. That's not actually what I think they were trying to say. They were trying to say quantum computing is supreme, supreme over standard supercomputing. But in any case, you know, it's fun to watch them, you know, battle it out because in the end, we're going to be the benefactors because quantum computing is a whole new way of computing. How will it change our lives? Uh, I mean, Google obviously wanted bragging rights and Google spat with <laughs> IBM and you can throw in Cisco and everybody else who might at uh, some day get involved. But uh, come on, oh, how's it going to change you and me getting up in the morning and brushing our teeth? All right, well, you know, they're going to apply it to things like machine learning and chemistry. So let's just say chemistry for a moment and think about, you know, the big problems behind biology and chemistry, cancer treatment, you know, working out real problems that are affecting real people where at some point, because as you're trying to run through permutations and you're trying to figure things out with really difficult problems, it can take a long time or maybe you reach a limit even with the best computers and quantum computing is going to go beyond right. that. But and I know people get excited when we talk about this is not about laptops, this is not about your phone, this is about big computers solving big problems at least in you know, maybe a decade from now.